how to get the highest quality of the product without any additional post-processings. This is the most frequently asked question every laser machine user asks. And today, we would like to tell you how to solve this issue and become more competitive in the market as proper processing reduces the cost of the final product. How to reduce carbon deposits. The most important factor that eliminates and reduces carbon deposits is a good blowout of the machine. We recommend looking for a laser machine that has a blowout of 1.5 or 2 atmospheres, as this will allow you to avoid darkening, overheating and the creation of unwanted deposits. This is especially important when working with sharpened edges and materials with a thickness of 6mm or more. Each Watson machine of the size of 60, 90 and above has a reduced diameter of the nozzle that allows withstanding working pressure of 6 atmospheres to the maximum load of 10 atmospheres. We also strengthened the pipe fastenings and made them from polyurethane to eliminate the possibility of rupture. How to increase the quality of engraving. Unlike laser cutting, cleaner engraving requires less air pressure. It is achievable with a larger diameter of the nozzle since it reduces the blowout. The reduced blowout of the laser machine allows combustion residues not to remain on the material. Machines with a larger working field such as the Watson 2030, 6010 and 1290 are equally suitable both for cutting and engraving. For smaller machines such as the Watson 0503 and 0203, they are more suitable for engraving and cutting small size products. How to select a power tube The more powerful the laser tube is, the more thickness the machine can cut through. It is generally believed that for every 10 watts of laser tube power, you can cut through 1 mm of plywood. For example, an 80 watt laser tube will be able to cut 8 mm of plywood. However, in order to extend the life of the laser tube, we recommend not to exceed 80% of power. Hence, with a tube of 80 watts, you will cut no more than 6 mm. Each independent task requires its own optimal ratio of speed and power. So, to avoid burning edges, try to vary these two factors and find the optimal parameter. It is also worth remembering that there are often knots in the plywood due to which these places may not be cut through at standard parameters. Therefore, please pay special attention to the quality of plywood. The higher it is, the easier and more convenient it will be for you to work on it. How to cut large sheets of plywood If your plywood is too big for what you want to use it for, it is better to pre-cut it into smaller pieces. If you need to work with plywood in full size, we recommend using neodymium magnets, especially when working with thin plywood or engraving, as the laser beam is out of focus. Why are there carbon deposits on the back of the plywood? The carbon deposits on the back of the plywood can happen for two reasons. First and most visible, the slats of your machine are not made of anodized aluminium. Because anodized lamellars reflect the laser beam, that leaves carbon deposits on the back of the workpiece. Second, you are using excessive power. Make sure that the laser tube operates at a power of no more than 80%. This will not only extend its service life, but also reduces carbon deposits on the reverse side. Please clean the optics of the laser machine and do not forget to use the cooling system during operation. Also, do not leave the laser machine unattended. We hope that these tips have been useful to you. Click like if you want more videos like this.